So first of all, let's understand what is DNS stub zone. Stub zone is a copy of zone that contains only those resource records that are necessary to identify the authoritative DNS server for that zone. A stub zone is a specific type of for lookup zone that contains only startup authority records, name server records for the authoritative DNS server for the zone and the host means associated glue records for those DNS server. Typically, you use a stub zone to resolve names between a separate DNS namespace. It is used to redirect query for records in that zone to the authoritative server while keeping the local server aware of any changes to that DNS servers. So when a DNS server receives a client query request from a host address that uh, is not a part of its authoritative namespace, it starts a resolving process beginning with the root name server and continues the process until the name is resolved. So when a stub zone is configured on the local DNS server, the local DNS server will forward the request to DNS authority for the domain namespace of the query. So now you are thinking to yourself, it uh, sounds a lot like a conditional forward does. Well, it is kind of, but the difference is when a conditional forwarding is configured, a single DNS server is used to resolve names in the remote domain. If that DNS server is not available, the name resolution process will fail. So when a stub zone is configured, it will contain an entire list of name server records from the other domain and these records are referred as the glue host records. So one of the advantage to using a stub zone over secondary is the transfer of records only includes the glue records whereas secondary will transfer the entire zone database. So let's see the demonstration. So for this demonstration, I have a uh, two domain controller. Now one is uh, our mylab.local forest and uh, the mylab.local domain. And second, we have uh, another forest for uh, MSFT webcast.local. So under we have a DNS server as well as we have a two for a lookup zone. One is the underscore msdcs.msftwebcast.local and second one is the msftwebcast.local. So if we try to ping msft webcast.local from this server as you are seeing ping request could not find the host msft webcast.local because on our dns server we have a two zone and we didn't configure any conditional forwarder or uh, anything else so that's time a ping request could not find the host so let's create a one uh, stub zone for msft webcast.local and to do that just right click on our lookup zone select new zone click on next on uh, welcome wizard here select stub zone and if you want to create active directory integrated stub zone that time you have to select this checkbox for this demonstration i'm not going to select it click on next specify the zone name in your case it will be msftwebcast.local click on next click on next and specify the ip address of our uh, master dns server and that is 192.168.49.201 click on next and finish so as you are seeing now we have a Startup authority record, name server, and host record. As well as, I want to show you one more thing under DNS management. If you see the property of our MSFT webcast.local zone, we didn't enable a zone transfer. Means we didn't enable allow zone transfer options, and still you are getting a copy of our MSFT webcast.local's startup authority, name server, and host record. See, here we have a uh, startup authority number is uh, similar to secondary zone and zone transferring process. If we add or uh, modify certain things inside this zone and for testing purpose, let's add uh, another name server just for testing. And let's specify ns1.msftwebcast.local. Let's manually specify the IP because there is a no server with this name. 2022. Okay. Apply. And okay. Click on refresh. So as you are seeing now, we have a startup authority number is 37 and as well as we have a multiple records for uh, NS as well as host record. If we come back on uh, our uh, server and if we click over and just select refresh, we have a startup authority number 35. Let's right click on MSFT webcast local and select transfer from master and now click on refresh. As you are seeing, now we have a updated zone then we can say updated stub zone for msft webcast.local and it contains the record. But suppose if we add a normal record over here, like uh, let's create a new alias record for www and specify the okay. Now we have a 
alias me but if we uh, try to transfer from master start of the number will change but uh, we didn't get uh, alias records over here and that is the reason why we create a stub zone instead of secondary zone and now let's ping try to ping to msfdwebcast.local and we are able to successfully resolve the IP address this is the way how you can create a stub zone in a DNS server and uh, that's it for this video demonstrations thanks for watching this video